All right, guys. We'll be talking about two key concepts in pharmacology that tend to actually confuse people who are just starting their pharmacology lectures. And this will be the concepts of EC50 and ED50, all right? So we'll be talking about these concepts and basically the differences between these two concepts, all right? So EC50 and ED50, basically focusing on the differences, all right? Of course, because if you are talking about the differences between two concepts, then you are like talking about the whole concept, all right? So the best way to talk about uh, concepts that are related or concepts that are confusing students is actually to talk about their differences, all right? So you can see this is EC50. And what is the full meaning of EC50? This is a median effective dose. No, sorry. Uh, EC50 is median half maximum effective concentration, all right? So differences between the first difference that I would like you guys to note about is ED50 and EC50 is like, the D here means dose, right? Why the C here means concentration, all right? So ED50 means was median effective dose. Why EC50 means was half maximum effective concentration, all right? So this is a graph showing ED50, this is what median effective dose. It's a graph showing EC50, this is what half maximum effective concentration, all right? So what is ED50? Uh, we'll talk about the two concepts before we actually differentiate them. So ED50, fully known as what median effective dose, this represents the dose of a drug required to achieve 50% of the desired therapeutic response in 50% of the population, all right? So it could be that you are testing a drug and you actually have a goal. You have the maximum response that you need from this drug, right? So what amount of that drug will actually elicit 50% of that effect you wanted in at least half of the population you are using or you are testing that drug on? Do you understand? So in other words, it is the amount needed for half of the people you are treating to actually experience the intended effect. Do you understand? For example, if you are treating pain, the ED50 will be those at which 50% of the patients will report pain relief, okay? Or will report that they actually have started feeling better. Do you understand? So what is EC50? After talking about ED50, what is EC50? EC50 is what half maximum effective concentration all right so half maximum effective concentration is like uh the term is often used when discussing drug concentration all right so it refers to the concentration at, of a drug at which 50 percent of its maximum response is observed okay so concentration of a drug at which 50 percent of a max of its maximum response is observed do you understand like ec50 is like okay um you are talking about what the drug now okay so a drug actually has a response it will elicit okay so what is the concentration of the drug that will actually give at least 50 percent of this effect that you wanted from the drug do you understand then ed50 is like okay you are treating a group of people so what is the amount of drug that is needed for like at least half of those people to start feeling well do you understand so guys uh it refers to the concentration of a drug at which 50 percent of its maximum response is observed do you understand so essentially it is the sweet spot where the drug is most most what effective all right so guys this is basically the concept of ed50 and ac50 let me explain it on the graphs again so ed50 it's basically like okay the amount of drug ed50 is the amount of drug that is needed to uh make at least half of the population of people that are treating to start feeling well do you understand ec50 is what the amount of drug that is needed to elicit half of the response that that drug is known to always elicit all right so half of that response is what we call ec50 all right and this is basically the differences between ed50 and ec50 in pharmacology all right so bye for now guys